got an interesting announcement. Wait, you dropped Fluffy where? <laughs> Relax, I'm just kidding. Uh, Fluffy is okay, so uh, what's up with that fair? <gasps> oh, I totally forgot about it. I haven't even started all my crafts yet. Guys, I don't get it. What crafts is you talking about? What fair? All right, quick. I need lots of colored paper. Um, Come on, Sam. I need your help. Hey, what about the announcement? Wait for me! Oh, hi, guys. Today, Sam and I are going to make four simple but very cool crafts for the school charity fair. All we need for them is colored paper? No, but it's going to be the main element. Let's fold this square piece of paper to make the first item. Now that we folded the sheet in half, let's bend the edges. Look, just like this. Okay, now do exactly the same on the other side. The main thing is not to get confused. All right, now let's fold each of the sheet's corners. So, uh, what exactly are we working on? It's a secret. Have patience, you'll find out soon. Now let's bring the corners towards the center. And then we turn the paper over and fold it from both sides. So that the sheet's edges meet in the center. I too want to do something for the fair. Then make five more like this. Consider it done. Now we need to insert a small piece of paper like this. Ah, let's put the whole thing together. And we get this triangular pipe. Here you are! Did I do everything right? Yeah, cool! Let's glue the parts together. You see, guys? Our pencil holder is really easy to assemble. Just apply some glue and press the pieces together. Ta-da! <gasps> so we're making a pencil holder? Oh, <laughs> looks like I let it slip out before it was time. <laughs> but there's nothing to keep the pencils from falling out. Oh, well, I'm about to fix that. In the meantime, bring me my pencils and markers, please. First, let's glue this piece of paper. There. And now we need to cut off all the excess. I brought a little bit of everything. Oh, thank you. Let's fill it up. you like our craft for the charity fair? If so, give us a like and get ready for the next awesome idea! And now let's make a super easy notepad! Here you are, Sue, exactly as requested! I wanted a notebook with a slime-themed cover, not a heart-themed one! Let's not waste time! First, we need to fold the heart like this. Now, let's take the sheet we've prepared earlier and begin cutting, using the heart as a stencil. As the result, we get another heart. This one made of colored paper. We have to repeat this many, many times. Sue, I made you another stencil. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of someone. Okay, okay, it was just an idea. Right, now that we have enough paper hearts, let's assemble our notepad. Apply the glue along the heart's edge. And stick it to the next heart. Do you see how it's done? Now repeat the same with the rest of the hearts. So, is this for the cover? I thought it'd be pink like me. Aw, well next time we'll do exactly as you wish. But for now, let's see if it fits onto the paper. It seems to fit perfectly. Right, let's apply some glue and press well. Now we only need to cut off the excess. And our craft is ready! Do you like it, Sam? Wow, it's so bright! I love bright colored stuff! And now let's make our notepad even cuter! Guys, have you ever taken part in a charity fair? What did you make for them? Share your stories in the comments! Can you make a notepad yourself? Not just a cover, but a whole notepad. And an unusual one. Shaped like a handsome slime? Well, that would be great. <laughs> Sammy, I'll make a notepad. And it'll be really cute. Though not shaped like a slime. This notepad will have an unusual cover. Uh, what? Sue, are you gonna wash something? No, Sammy. This is the base for the cover. And here are the notepad pages. I glued them together to make sure they don't fall apart. 
The size fits! But the sponge isn't very pretty, so we'll wrap it into this fluffy, fluffy fabric. Hey, that's my blanket! Nobody touched your blanket. Oh, uh, yeah? I'll go check. <laughs> it's a different cloth. Oh, fine, let him check if it calms him down. But we've got lots of cloths like this all over the house. Ugh. Okay, look. I glued the fabric to the sponge, but these corners are sticking out. I'll show you how to remove them neatly. We'll glue the corner carefully along the edges, like this. Using our trusty hot glue. Here. And there. Now we can cut off the excess. And we'll get a very smooth edge. We'll do the same with all the other corners. And we need two covers like that. Susie, I checked. My blanket is in place. You can continue. I can. Oh, thank you for your permission. Oh, it's a real pillow! Mm. <laughs> yes, it'll be a very soft anti-stress notepad. We only need to glue the pages in. To make sure everything looks neat, we'll glue a piece of fabric to our pages. It'll be the binder. What's good about this notepad is that you can make it of any color. Because this fabric and this paper come in all sorts of colors. Pick the combination you like the best. And write in the comments which color combination you like most of all. Meanwhile, I'm gluing our pages to the cover. It's simple. One, two, and done. And then repeat. Yes. So perfect! Ta-da! Yes, yes, Sammy. I didn't forget. And prepared the eyes and the mouth. <laughs> it looks cute, right? A notepad with eyes? Quite exquisite. Yes, it can definitely cheer you up. I'll add a few more graphic details with a white marker. Ta-da! <laughs> it's so soft and cozy. Adorable! And now let's make an organizer for small items. The only thing we'll need for this craft is colored paper. An organizer? I need one myself! Then watch my hands closely. For a start, let's make creases that'll divide the sheet into three parts. Now we fold the sheet in half. And then fold up the edges like this. Sam, are you paying attention? Yes, yes, I'm even taking notes. Now we turn the sheet over and fold the edges towards the middle. Carefully now. You've got to smooth everything out thoroughly. Okay, let's find the central point and bend the corners inwards, towards it. Like this. After that, we unfold the rectangular edges. And we get this pocket! Oh, it looks like my wallet! <laughs> Look, I've made all kinds of wallets for you. Wow, this is really cool, but why so many? We'll attach them to each other. Look. No glue needed. So, I don't get it. Where will we store all the little things? <laughs> right in those pockets. For instance, they're great for storing push pins. What about paper clips? <laughs> you can put anything you like in here. Dear friends, this lovely craft is so easy to make. You just need some paper and five minutes of your free time. Do you know any other cool paper crafts? Share them in the comments below. And now for our fourth idea, let's make mini drawers. You want to make a set of drawers in five minutes? Why not? We've already got the drawers. Let's reserve one of the boxes for the notes. We'll need to make a cut over here. Be careful with sharp objects. It'll be better if you ask an adult to help you. Ready, Sam? Have you prepared the notes? Ugh, she always leaves the most difficult work for me. <laughs> Sam, very funny. Now let's start assembling the notes like this, putting one into another. This is necessary to help the notes automatically come out of the box. And now let's fill the drawer and pull out the top note like this. Is it ready? No, we've only made a notes holder. Now we'll make a box that'll house a scotch tape dispenser. Huh, this sounds more interesting. First, let's mark the spots on the box where we'll need to make the cutouts. Great. Now we make round holes on both sides of the box. Hey, 
it, guys. While Sue is busy, I'll go read your comments. Okay, now let's take an ordinary plastic lid, this one will do, and glue it inside the box. Make sure that the lid fits the size of the tape and the height of the box. Let's glue a piece with serrated edges here so it'll be easier to tear off the tape pieces. Okay, now all we have to do is put the tape inside the box and let's test it out! Awesome, so handy! Sue, where's the set of drawers itself? You decided not to make one? Of course I did! I was just about to put it together. But first, let's glue our drawers together. We'll need six drawers all in all. And here's the last ones! Our set of drawers is almost ready! But it's so small! What on earth can you store in there? <laughs> all kinds of stuff. For instance, my hairpins. Or your candy. These erasers will make perfect knobs for the drawers. See? They fit our drawers perfectly! Great! I'm sure that at the fair, someone will buy our set of drawers right away! Sue, so let's put a candy into one of the drawers! It'll be a sweet gift for the buyer! Aww, that's a wonderful idea, Sam! Guys, did you enjoy our ideas for the charity fair? If so, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up! And tell all your friends about our channel! Bye-bye! <laughs>